If you're just joining us, no one has fooled Penn and Teller so far, but all that could change with this next act. We're kind of like the Penn and Teller of juggling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we uh, we wear suits. Yeah, one of us is taller than the other. Uh, one of us likes to talk a little bit more than the other one. Which one is that? I'm not really sure. Penn, he's a juggler himself. And he's actually quite talented. Juggling is beautiful in so many ways. It's a rush. When you're in that rhythm and things are in the air, it's just limitless. But now we're magicians. We've been working on yeah. uh, this trick for quite a while. Uh -huh. And it turns out magic can be hard. <laughs> we didn't see that one coming. But we, we want to become the Penn and Teller of magic. Yeah. Is that, that <laughs> position may be filled? It might be. <laughs> we're next in line. Yes, we are. Duo, John and Owen, the passing zone. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. I'm John. And my name is Owen, and we are the passing zone. And tonight, we intend to fool Penn and Teller uh -huh. with the card trick. That's right. Which is going to be difficult. Uh huh. Because we're not magicians. No, we're jugglers. So tonight we're going to combine magic and juggling. Now, a lot of people may not realize this, uh -huh. but back when Penn and Teller first teamed up, uh -huh. Teller was a magician, and Penn, you were a professional juggler. I was. Yeah, right? so we think you're going to especially appreciate this trick because of the juggling. The other reason Penn is going to appreciate this <laughs> trick is because we are going to put Teller in danger. That's right. Good Teller, please you. come join us up on stage yes. if you would. Thank you for joining us, sir. That's stand right there, Thank if you, you would. Thank you very much. How are you? Good um, to see you. We have here a deck of cards. Uh-huh. All right. So, we're going to just make sure they can all see that those are different. Uh -huh. I would like you to reach out, touch the back of any one of those cards, choose any one you want, touch the back of that one right there. Mm -hmm. Is that the one you want? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. All right, go ahead and take that card, look at it. You can show it to us, you can show it to the audience, make sure everybody sees what that is. Seven of diamonds. Perfect. All right. Place that back into the deck anywhere you want. Right there. All right? Very nice. Now, until we need it again, I'm going to place this deck right over here while we explain the rest of what's going on. Now, card tricks are great, but as you guys have proven over the years, they're even better if they involve some danger. It's the same with juggling. Like this audience right now, you want to see us do something dangerous, right? Look at that. See? That's exactly what they want. We have three items that fit that bill perfectly. The first one is a common item that most of you have in your homes. Here it is. Danger item number one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, although we should have made it number two. Oh, we should have switched it. See? Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Okay. Our next item is more dangerous. This has been known to cause instant death. Murder on a stick. Oh, yeah. Oh. What do we have right here? Two rat traps on a handle. We're going to demonstrate out. how this works. Oh, oh man. Yeah. That could mess you up. <laughs> All right. So now it is time for our third danger item. And it's more dangerous than the first two combined. Check it out. Oh, yeah. It just got real. Yes. Uh -huh. We have a real stun gun. Yes. This is not a toy, you know, baby's first stun gun. No. This is the real deal. 500,000 volts on that end. Yes. So those are our three danger items. Now, what do these have to do with your seven of diamonds? Well, we're going to get to that in just a moment. But because of the danger, Teller, we need you to relax. Step back just a moment Stay here. Step back. Yep. That's why Stay we calm. have this yoga mat yes. for you. Uh-huh. We would just like you to serenely lie down on the yoga mat on your back yeah. with your feet toward me. Yeah, just okay? sort of lie down there, kind of yes. like you're on a gurney. Okay, no, no, no what's that? don't give away the ending. Oh, you're right, sorry. Okay. Okay. Namaste. Okay. All right, Tyler, this is what's going to happen next. I'm going to straddle your body right like this. Then I'm going to start juggling these items right over your general face and nipple region. John is going to come running from behind, launch himself over both of us, and land just on the other side of your head. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> All right, now tell her you're not going to like this next part. <laughs> I don't think he liked the first part. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah. I'm sorry to ask you this, Teller. I need you to spread your legs apart. Yes. I do. Yeah. Uh, so oh, yeah. there. There we go. Okay. Because your thighs are covering my launch area. Okay. Oh, Teller, we almost forgot. Safety goggles. Oh, that's right. Folks, I got to yes. tell you right now, this is a very dangerous stunt we're performing for you. We would not do it without the proper safety precautions. John. What? For Teller. Oh, for Teller. Yes. yes, for Teller. All right. 
Here, let me slip those on you. Very right. nice, Tubbs. Excellent. All right. So now, this is where the deck of cards comes back into play. Yes. We have right here in this box a special device we call the card juggler. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this deck of cards right here. I'm going to carefully place it into the card juggler. Right. All right. Then we will place this entire device right over here by Teller's head. Then, while I am leaping over Owen and Teller, the card juggler will throw the cards into the air where we, as jugglers, can properly relate to them. Exactly. Then, using his highly developed juggler reflexes, John will find and catch your seven of diamonds. All right, let's do it. Here we go, Teller. There's some more fun for you here. Do not move, Teller. All right, my friend. All right. Hang on. This is happening. Here we go. This yeah. is happening. friends with Penn and Teller, right? We have known them for a while, About yes. <laughs> What's your earliest memory with the guys? You know what? I actually worked at the Minnesota Renaissance Festival in 1981, <laughs> and I was a kid, and Penn and Teller were performing. They were like the biggest act at the festival. It was their final year of doing that kind of thing. Right. They had just been making it big, and so that was the first time we ever met, and I was just amazed. And we have just been huge fans for years. They're just amazing. Did you ever have, like, juggling duels? And you have to, like, walk 50 paces and then turn around and <laughs> juggle. There is actually a thing called juggling combat. Right. Really? Where the juggler has three clubs, and they uh, they sort of face off and try to it's smack the other guy. It's like demolition derby, yeah. or you Wait, go one-on-one. You one try one. to smack each oh, other, yeah, yeah, or yeah, you yeah. try you to get them to drop it. throw one up, and then you've got one in the air, and now you can go clobber you the you other guy. You try to get the other one to drop oh, yeah. That just seems very violent. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Yeah. It's violent yeah. and, and fun. It, it takes juggling and wow. makes it violent. Yeah. Is that legal? That's an excellent and, question. And I think in, in seven states it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. time to go to the boys. Okay. Penn, oh, Teller. John and Owen, there you are. Here we are. Here we are, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, it was so smooth how you got rough with Teller. That okay. was a very smart, smart idea. Yeah. Because you took your main opposition, you took the brains of the operation, and misdirected him in a very broad juggler way, which was to stand over him and throw things at him. <laughs> you incapacitated uh -huh. one of the team. Yeah. That was your whole idea. There you thought, go. we'll get Teller, we'll throw <laughs> in his face, <laughs> and we'll hope he won't catch us. Exactly. So I think I've covered one thing here in the yes. card. And you had three dangerous objects. You could have put a could have put a card sword in there too if you wanted to, mm -hmm. but you didn't. You used no. the uh, the other things. Yeah, and absolutely. I want to ask you something. Could we examine the uh, rat trap the gizmo that you used there? <laughs> to examine the rat trap? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. No, no. Not that one. No? No. Oh. See, you didn't fool us. Uh, <laughs> it was close. Yeah. It was darn close. You so wanted us to examine that, but you didn't fool us. That is yeah. correct. Uh, you didn't fool us, but I'm still coming up to say hi uh, to you. Oh, my God. Thank you. in a minute. 